okay, so here I am on the bed and you know, I'd be sleeping and dressing and then I would push myself, scooch myself so that I'm off, off the bed, you know, with my legs just sitting at the edge of the bed. I'm like, oh my gosh, babe, you're gonna fall off the bed. Um, and that's what a lot of people, and that's how you feel at first, like after you're paralyzed, but then after a while, like you learn to trust yourself and um, things like that. And so, ugh. and that's just like a time thing, you know. So this has grip, has a little bit of grip on the one side. So I put it on the side that I'm going to be scooching from because then it won't, it will scooch less onto the, onto the, I feel like I'm a tiny bit far away. Hello, helper, he's my helper. He's my helper dog that looks like a dairy cow and a snake had a baby. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. He's a Jersey Terrier. Ah, you're not helping. <laughs> you are not helping. You are not helping. You are such a good not helping dog. Yes, you. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Is that a delicious board? Okay, so watch me fall off. <laughs> Don't do this. So okay, so you. I put my foot like on the bar. The bar being, you know, on the wheelchair, right? Stop, you're not helping. You don't lick stuff. <laughs> don't push me off the bed either. So this is not how it's done. <laughs> you are a good dog. You're a good dog. This video should be called, How a Quadriplegic Defies Death to Exit the Bed. Move your face. onto the onto the chair um, the best part the trick I guess is getting your feet to be in the right spot like facing the right way so that it more easily puts you into the right spot when you land don't lick my board don't chew stuff don't lick stuff so anyway that is um, I forgot what I was doing but I did it and hopefully you learned how or really enjoyed that video of me exiting the bed and this cute dog. His name's Mowgli. So anyway, I hope you're having a wonderful day and we'll see you next time. Who's a good dog?